If you're a wedding videographer or if you film live events like I do myself, you know that as soon as you've done a shoot, you've got to get back, you've got to download multiple camera footage, you've got to download audio from multiple recorders, and you've got to get it all on your computer and sync it up so you can crack on with a multicam edit. For years and years I've been using Pluralize, but lately I've had some issues, so I decided to look what else is out there, are there any other options? I came across this software called Synkyla, so in today's video I'm going to be going through the, the software, doing a bit of a review, showing you how it works, and deciding is this now a better option than Pluralize. I have been given a copy of the software by Synkyla, but I can guarantee you it's not going to affect my review. I'm going to talk about the pros and cons and I'm going to be letting you know if it's a good option for you. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so here I am in Finder. I'm in my ceremony folder and in this folder I have three subfolders, main, roving and safety containing the footage from those three camera angles. I'm going to select them all and drag them into this library I've created in Final Cut. I then need to go back to Finder. I need to find my audio recordings for the ceremony. I have four different recordings from the three from the four people who were speaking. I'm going to drag that in as well. And now if I click this main keyword, it will show the footage from that main camera angle. I'm going to right click it and create a project from it. Let's call it ceremony unsynced. Now if I press shift and Z I can see the whole timeline there. I'm going to do the same for roving so if I click roving select one of the files and press command A that will select all of those shots and then just drag them into the timeline. Let's do the same for safety and drag it into the timeline on a new layer. It's important that every camera angle is on a new layer. And then we need to do the same for our audio. So if I click on audio only up here, I'll see all of my audio files. I can press Q as a shortcut, press Q and it will drop it on the timeline. We can do that for the readings and the registrar. So now we've got our four audio layers and our three camera layers all there but unsynced. So what we need to do is click File, Export XML. It will have the name Ceremony Unsynced. It's going to the right place where I want it to be stored. And make sure here you choose Previous Version and not Current Version. And click Save. That's now created the XML file, so I need to open Synkyla. Synkyla is really easy to use. There's three main buttons we're going to use, Import, synchronize and export. So let's start by importing our XML from Final Cut. So there it is, that unsynced file. The first time you use Synkyla, be sure to click this little cog and make sure the search accuracy is set to optimal. And then click synchronize. You'll see really quickly it synced up all that footage, all that audio. It's even managed to sync up these tiny little roving shots, some of which are only about five seconds long, which is really impressive. So we now need to click export. I'm gonna change the name to Ceremony Synced and click save. That has saved. We have to go back into Final Cut, click File, Import, XML, and find this ceremony synced file. That has imported two files into Final Cut. First of all, we've got this one, ceremony unsynced synced. That's basically the synced file. I often just rename this to ceremony synced. And if you open that up, you'll see we now have all of our video layers and audio layers all in alignment and if you wanted to, you could use this file for editing. You could just put cuts where you want it to cut from one camera to another and kind of chop it up in that way. But also, if you prefer to do a multicam edit, you'll see that Synkyla has given you that file there. I'll rename that as well. Ceremony Synced Multicam. 
and you can use that to do a multicam edit. If we click into it, we can see we have all those camera angles and all those audio angles ready to go with. So as we draw towards the conclusion of this video, first of all, quick reminder, click the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest content. I've got videos on the way about camera gear, audio gear, how to film wedding. So be sure to click that before you move on. Well, time for the conclusion. Which is better, Sinkyla or Pluralize? I myself am moving towards Sinkyla for various reasons. In terms of ease of use, they're both very easy to use. And within five to 10 minutes, you're gonna have all of your audio and video perfectly synced so you can crack on with those edits. In terms of quality, I feel Sinkyla is a little bit better. It's a tiny bit faster, not that that's a deal breaker, they're very close, but it's able to sync shorter clips. I often shoot five to 10 second clips, really short ones, and I need those synced, otherwise all, the, all those nice shots I can't really use, and I've not got time to go and sync them myself, so Sinkyla wins in that respect. And finally, where I think it really shines is in value for money. They both cost around 220 pounds, obviously translate that for euros or dollars, but if you buy Sinkyla, you can have it on three machines. Whereas with Pluralize, you can only have it on one. That for a video professional who, if you're like myself, I've got a laptop, I've got a computer at home, I've got a computer in the office. I wanna have it on all three of those machines. I don't know which one I'm gonna be working on at a particular moment in time. Uh, and if you're on Pluralize, you've gotta pay for three separate licenses. So you can take your 220 pounds and you can multiply it by two or three. So therefore it's costing twice as much or three times as much just by Sinkyla. It's amazing, it's a little bit better as it goes and it's cheaper. So that's it. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a like and I will see you next time.